Hello guys, welcome to Macout Smashers. Today's video topic is all about the material management in industrial management, the chapter number 3. In this topic, we discuss about the various concepts. See, in this agenda, we discuss about the introduction to in the material management, the function and objective of material management, the purpose and its procedure, the fibers of purpose, purchase, okay, and the store keeping definition and types, the bin card and stored ledger and the MRP, two types of MRP, MRP1 and MRP2. Okay, so the material management in industrial management encompasses the strategic planning, procurement, handling and utilization of materials essential for the production processes. It involves the coordinating of the flow of raw materials, components and supplies to ensure the uninterrupted procedure cycles while optimizing the inventory levels to minimize the holding cost. Effective material management strategies also include the forecasting demand, negotiating the contrast with suppliers and implementing the inventory control systems to maintain the optimal stock levels. Additionally, material management involves the quality control measures to ensure that materials meet up the specified standards and contribute to the production of high quality goods. By streamlining the material management, processes industrial enterprises can enhance the operational efficiency reduce the waste and uh, maintain the competitiveness in dynamic market environment okay so functions and objectives of material management you can see in this slide the procurement inventory control the demand forecasting storage and warehousing supplier relationship management SRMs okay the cost control quality assurance continuous improvement also you can say the Kaizen 5S model it is then just in time delivery and sustainability so these are the top 10 functions and objectives of material management so now it is time to discuss about the purchasing the purchasing in material management is a pivotal function that involves the acquisition of materials components and services necessary for productions okay and operations. It encompasses the activities such as identifying the material requirements, sourcing suppliers, negotiating the contracts, issuing purchases and orders, and managing the supplier relationships. Effective purchasing practices aim to secure the quality materials at competitive prices while ensuring the timely delivery to support the production schedules. Additionally, purchasing professionals are responsible for evaluating supplier performance, managing the vendor relationships, and identifying the opportunities for cost savings and process improvements ultimately purchasing plays a critical role in ensuring the availability of materials and suppliers needed to sustain the operations and meet the organizational objectives in material management so in this slide you can see here the process of purchasing okay so in this chapter the important concept is about the five bars of procurement of five bars of purchasing in material management, it encapsulates the key principles essential for effective procurement practices. They include obtaining the right quality of materials at the right price, from the right source, at the right time, and in the right quantity. The right quality emphasizes the importance of procuring the materials that meet the specified standards and contribute to product integrity. The right price involves negotiating the favorable terms to achieve cost efficiency without the compromising the quality. Right source entails selecting the reliable suppliers capable of delivering materials consistently and meeting contractual obligations. Right time emphasizes the timely acquisition of material to support the production schedules and prevent delays. Finally, the right quantity it ensures that the procurement align with demand forecast and inventory requirements minimizing the excesses inventory or stock outs adding to fibers helps to optimize the purchasing process and reduce the cost and maintain the seamless operation within the material management so the concept of a store keeping the store keeping in material management is a critical function responsible for the systematic management of inventory within an organization it involves the receipt storage handling and issuance of materials to support the production and operational needs storekeepers are tasked with maintaining the accurate records of inventory levels tracking stock in movements and ensuring the availability of materials when needed effective storekeeping practices include organizing the storage areas of 
to optimize the space utilization implementing the inventory control measures to prevent the stockouts or overstocking and conducting regular inspections to monitor for damage or descriptions by efficiently managing the inventory and implementing the sound storekeeping practices organizations can minimize the cost improve the operational efficiency and maintain a smooth flow of materials throughout the production process so there are two types of storekeeping decentralized and centralized you can see in this slide so centralized and decentralized storekeeping represent the contrasting approaches to managing the inventory within an organization's material management system in centralized storekeeping inventory management functions are consolidated under a central department or location this approach enables the standardized procedures centralized oversight and potential cost saving through economics of scale conversely decentralized storekeeping disperses the inventory management responsibilities across multiple departments or locations within the organization so while decentralized storekeeping offers greater flexibility and responsiveness to local needs it may lead to duplication of efforts and inconsistency in inventory control practices the choice between the centralized and decentralized storekeeping depends on the factors such as organizational structure size and operational requirements so both approaches have their met metrics and drawbacks an organization must way to weigh these factors carefully to determine the most suitable storekeeping model for their specific circumstances now it is time to discuss about the bin carts and store ledgers it is at the integral components of material management systems facilitating the efficient inventory tracking and control within organizations bin carts are documents maintained at storage location provide real time records of material receipts issuance and remaining quantities they serve as the immediate references for monitoring the stock levels facilitating the timely replenishment and ensuring the inventory accuracy in contrast store ledgers consolidate the information from bin carts across various storage locations into a centralized ledger store ledger offer the comprehensive insights into material movements stock levels and valuations aiding inventory management decisions and strategic planning together the bin carts and storage ledgers streamline the material management processes enhance the inventory visibility and contribute to the overall efficiency of material handling operations within the organization so see that the differences between the bin card and store ledgers okay in this slide so now it is time to discuss about the mrp or material requirement planning one mrp one and mrp two is the full form of manufacturing resource plan 